Hey guys, Bryce Tubbs here. Today I just want to talk about a concept called the money line. So basically what this is, is it's a, it's a sales principle that's going to allow you to be able to go and close more sales and more consultations and sign up clients at higher price points. Are you ready to get started? Okay. Most people, they struggle here. Like, they're like, oh, you know, maybe in a couple days we can get started. Your job is to see if you can get cash on the phone call, right? If you can do cash and you can do the contract, the way that I show my students how to do is we actually have the people sign a proposal while they're still on the call, and then they can actually get the cash paid right then, right? So it just makes it a lot easier for you to get paid. So that's how like, some of my students, you see, like, they close $2,000 in cash collected on a phone call, right? It's because they literally did it while they're on the phone. Some people, if they're like a little bit inexperienced, they will actually send an invoice after and then get paid. Um, if you do a good enough job on your sales call, then it's really easy. But if you do an invoice afterwards, during invoice after, if you do the invoice after, you open yourself up to a lot of different cans of worms. Okay, let's see if we can Sorry, I have like autofocus on and it's, it's trying to focus, but it's just like, woof, it's all over the place. Invoice after, okay, follow up. Didn't face the demons. And another thing that happens is, um, B, actually we're, we're gonna call it B2B life cycle slash life. To be, Life cycle, life. Uh, this, this is supposed to say sales, <laughs> sales cycle, okay? So if you do your invoice during the call, okay, it's very quick, very simple, and you've already collected the cash, right? This causes urgency because you already have their money, so now they wanna give you all the information as fast as possible so you can get the work done as quickly as possible and they can move forward, right? But it also gets cash flow. Like sometimes I'll see people and they charge retainer, but they get paid the retainer at the end of the month. I don't understand that. You should get paid your retainer up front. That's the whole purpose of a retainer. If you didn't know, like the only time you should get paid like on the 15th, 30th is if you're charging hourly and you don't know exactly how many hours it's going to be ahead of time. But if you know exactly what the amount is gonna be, you need to negotiate to get paid as soon as today as possible, right? That just makes it easier for your business to be able to grow. I just invite you to go ahead and click on the link inside the description below to book a call with me to see if I can help you. Oops. Okay, on the call, we're gonna do three things. We're gonna take a look at where are you right now? Where do you wanna go? Thirdly, if I think you can help you out, I'm just gonna outline what that process looks like for us to work together. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new. If that's you, I'll see you on the call. If it's not the right time, I'll see you inside the next video. Take it easy.